people think of disability, they think of the Northeast Arc because we've been here for over 65 years. The Northeast Arc mission is to include people with disabilities in our lives. What we're trying to do is to make this region the best place for people to live. The early founders of the Northeast Arc didn't want their children to be shunned aside, forgotten about. And from those early humble beginnings, the Northeast Arc grew into what it is today, which is a powerhouse with 1,100 employees impacting 15,000 people every year. The Center for Linking Lives at the Liberty Tree Mall is 26,000 square feet of all our community-facing programs. For people who want to be more independent, again, what a place, what a perfect place to be. And plus, public transportation-wise, all the public transportation pretty much comes to the mall. And so when you start to look at the reuse of these kinds of centers, we really were talking from the beginning about the fact that if the space doesn't serve the mission, then it's not the right space. We've always talked about community, but we weren't in the community. So we weren't as visible within the community as we needed to be. I get excited when I see the collaboration that's happening among all our departments. We're no longer in separate buildings or in separate floors, siloed by our physical presence. When a family called the center looking for information, I know right from the get-go that we're gonna change that family's life. We're building this community and families will come. It's not a segregated place. The parents can be in a room attending a support group. The child can be attending a recreation program. If I were uh, going back a few years when my son with Down syndrome was born and I was coming here to get service for, for him, I would be filled with hope and optimism about his future. The right moment for the Center for Linking Lives is now. Our malls are going under tremendous rebirth, but they could have still a vibrancy and an important element in our community. If you look at this kind of space, the ability to be able to quickly change it, I mean, there's nothing here that's fixed that can't be moved that can't be a hotel space so that people can come and go. And I think really ready to come at whatever comes at us next. And I love the fact that we have all glass doors going in and out of these spaces. There's nothing that's behind closed doors anymore. I'm excited about the fact that the community gets to see us every single day and they know what we do. And the excitement around Parcels, the retail store that we've opened that features the work, the products made by people with disabilities from all over the country. My name is Elizabeth Chasen. I paint and I make um, this mask and we do arts and crafts. The Center for Linking Lives also provides an important environment for eliminating barriers that exist between staff and the people that support them. You really don't know who are the helpers and who are being helped. So I've been in this agency for since summer of 1993. They helped me to find a job. I cleaned the two buildings, one here and one across the um, mall. I do a variety of different programs. I work in um, employment um, opportunities where I um, go work for a, a job called Bright Few Senior Living. I worked how to build up a resume, how to take care of money, and how to be a good employee slash good future supervisor. There's a vibrancy here, there's a feeling of, you know, I can be myself, I can do things here that I uh, might not have an opportunity to do elsewhere. I have a lot of friends in the program, I like to learn. We have never forgotten that innovation is the core of what we do. When this space, post-pandemic, is fully realized, so fully staffed, and, and uh, we're doing all that we're capable of doing, we will have a playbook that uh, will allow other organizations in other towns and cities around Massachusetts and around the country to do the same thing. In 10 years or so, we're gonna look back and say that this was a game changer, not only for the North Shore, but for the country.